Already, gang, we're going to evaluate this integral, x squared times e to the negative ax squared from 0 to infinity. It's going to be short. It's going to be awesome. And just note I got many modifications of this integral, so you can check it out. So the first thing we're going to do is do integration by parts, but we're going to split up the x squared before we do the integration by parts, and I'll show you why. Now, if we do this, uh, the integration by parts is the integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du. And we're going to set u equal to x. That means du is going to equal to dx. And for the dv part right here, that's going to equal everything else. So we're just going to make that equal to everything else. Now we need to know what the v is. So we need to integrate this. So to do that, we're going to do a substitution. Usually we call it a u substitution, but we already used the letter u, so I'm going to use the letter n. We'll set n equal to negative ax squared. And therefore, du is dx is going to equal to negative 2ax. And now if we rearrange this equation right here and solve for x dx, if we solve this equation for x dx, we'll get dn over negative 2a. Do you see that? x times dx is dn over negative 2a. If we rearrange this equation, hope you can see that. Uh, and then we'll substitute in what n is. So n is negative a. Uh, or a, a negative ax squared, we'll put n in there, replace that. And now at this point, we can integrate both sides. So if we integrate this left-hand side, we get v. And now we want to integrate this right here. Well, the integral of e to the n is our friend. It's literally just e to the n. And the negative 2a just comes along for the ride. The negative we just put in the numerator. It doesn't really matter where it goes. But we don't care about n. We care about x. So we're going to substitute back. So n is negative ax squared. And from here, we now have our v. So we got everything we need for integration by parts. So we'll substitute that in. So u is x, right? u is x. v is this thing right here that we just found out. And that gets evaluated from 0 to infinity. Notice the limits of integration don't change because we're still in terms of x. And now v is this, what we have, negative e to the negative ax squared over 2a dx. Now, this side, we don't have to do an integral. We're already done. So we can go from infinity to 0. And, okay, so mathematicians might, some mathematicians might not like this. This isn't like rigorous language. We're not really supposed to plug in infinity. If you're okay with this, then, then that's fine. If this really bugs you, let me know. It should really be the limit as some variable goes to infinity of that variable. Uh, but this is kind of the same thing. It's just a little cleaner. That's why I put it like this. Uh, in this first term, the denominator goes to infinity faster than the numerator. So this whole term goes to zero. And now here we have zero over, this is going to infinity, which would bring the, the term to zero anyway. So we have zero minus zero. So this whole section here is just zero. So that's cool. Now, what about this? Well, if we cleaned it up, we have negative and a negative. So that becomes positive. The, we'll yank out the 2a in the denominator, 1 over 2a. And now we have this integral. This is still a Gaussian function. It's a little simpler than what we started with, but it does take a little bit of time to evaluate. And I did this in another video. So I'm just going to tell you that this integral is 1 half root pi over a. If you want to see it, check out my video because I went in detail on how to evaluate this. It's not too bad, uh, but I'm just not going to do that derivation kind of again because I already did. This whole term becomes 1 over 4a, because here 1 half and 1 over 2a multiplied together is 1 over 4a, and then the root pi over a is right here. And that's our integral. So the integral of x squared e to the negative x squared dx from negative infinity to infinity is 1 over 4a times the square root of pi over a. Hope this was beneficial. Hope this gave you some value. Good luck on your assignments or quizzes, midterms, final exams, all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.